Okay, I hope you're ready to draw. I'm so excited. This will be our lesson of pencil power. You have your pencil ready. We're going to be drawing this really cool bullfrog, and it's featured in my book. Now, if you guys like drawing with me and you want to draw a lot more, remember I have lots of books available. Here's one of them. I'll show more of them later. This one is 333 ideas. So I looked through here and I found today we're going to focus on this bullfrog lesson. Does not look fun? And this is available in bookstores and online, wherever they sell great books. Now, I hope you guys have subscribed to my YouTube channel. This is just one of many lessons that you're drawing with me. I have over 100 lessons there. So let's go ahead and get going. We're going to block this in with a whisper line. Let's block it and shape it. We're going to mold it and shape it with a very, very light line. Okay, let's draw very lightly. And then I'm going to draw the bullfrog's eyes. I'm going to block them in. This is called whisper line. I use a light pencil line, and we build up to when we push hard with our pencil line, or we can add ink line and add color later. But I always start by blocking in lightly. Now, over here, this eye will be smaller. This is a little closer. It's larger. This eye will be smaller. And we're going to shape this, and it's going to be really cool. That's going to be a peekaboo line. And then I'm going to kind of block in where, the, where this grin's going to go. So... Way up here, I'm going to put the grin of the bullfrog about right here. All right, so we're just blocking in and sketch and shape. And now here's down here, about right right below the eye. I'm going to block in. Now here's this is one of my students made a little bullfrog puppet right right right. right. But you see how you see how the the leg comes out right below the the mouth. So let's make that front paw coming out here, the front foot coming down, and I'm going to have the the heel of the toe coming down to the direction southwest. That's a little slant coming southwest. Now there's four positions that artists use most light when they're drawing in 3D. This line, I'm going to line it up. That's called direction northwest. This is called southwest. Let me show you these four positions. You can get printouts of these from my website at markkistler.com. Uh, these are the 12 Renaissance words. These are the words we're using today. We're going to use a lot of these 12 words. But what I'm talking about right now is we're using a line right now in direction northwest, and we're using a line in southwest. These are the four positions that artists use most frequently when they're drawn in 3D. And if you want to learn more about that, you watch more of the YouTube lessons. And I really go into it in the details when I teach on Mondays. My Mighty Art Mondays with Mr. Mark, my live classes. Now, back here, watch this. I'm going to draw the, the foot, the other side of the toe. There's the foot coming back over here. It's going to get smaller as it moves away. We're going to put three toes here in a second. Get it all, all blocked in and all sketched in here, looking good. And then I'm going to and move that up. So, aha, there I got rid of the shadow. That looks cool. All right, now back here, look at this. This will be the bell, the the you know burping big chin of the bullfrog. This toe back here is a little peekaboo. See, it's a little slant. It matches that slant here. That's called direction northeast. This is northeast. And then go up here in direction northwest, and we'll draw a little peekaboo toe. See that peekaboo? This is lower on the paper, and this is further away. It's going to look really cool. Now, the back leg, I'm going to have about right here behind the eye. We're just, we're, remember, loosely sketching, really light. Let's draw this, this leg coming down here. And I had the leg line up with this back, uh, this bottom line for the near foot. And then we'll put, I'm going to draw the the foot of the frog coming back here. This will be the, the back of the leg and then the heels back here. I'm going to slant this down just a bit in this direction here. I'm going to slant this in direction south east. And then I'm going to take this one and kind of splay it out. So this one's lower on the paper and then see how this toe will be lower and that will be further away. So this will be our back foot back here. And then the other uh, leg I'm going to line, see that this with the top of the knee, I'm going to line it up in direction north west. You see that lines up, so the top of the knee is going to be about right there. We're going to kind of cheat it out just a bit and have it come back behind here, behind the eye. See how that lines up and lines up? Even the eyes line up in these directions. These are very, very handy. This is the a regular compass. If you take that compass and you foreshorten it, we can tell you about foreshortening. One of these words, remember one of the words of the 12 Renaissance words of drawing. 
See, if you take that, take a circle and you squish it, this is a little finger puppet one of my students made. Hey, how are you? But see, that it's a great example of a squished circle. See that foreshortened shape? Foreshortening is a good word to learn, and that's what we're going to be using with all these words. We're going to foreshorten, distort, make near things look closer. All right, so this this is uh, higher up here. We're going to draw the back of the leg. We're going to draw the back of that near leg. We're going to put some wrinkles right here. As the leg bends down, put a few wrinkles so you'll see those. And then we'll work on the details. So we, there we go. We got it all blocked and sketched in. Nice job. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Look, it's going to be so cool once we get all the, the details into the drawing. So I'm going to block in. Now let's go ahead and take our eraser. And I'm going to erase the, uh, and I have my brush so I can brush away the crumbs. I erase the eye there. And then I'm going to, I know that this is going to be a hidden eye back behind here. See? All right, so this will be far away. We'll just see the back bulge. So I'm going to draw the near eye. Let's draw the eyeball. Isn't that fine? Draw the eye. See how I'm pushing harder with my pencil to get the drawing detail in there? And then let's draw the eye. I'm going to leave a little reflection. Looking cool. See that? That gives it your character expression, and it gives it definition and a little bit of style there. See that little reflection there? And you could put eyelashes on your bullfrog if you want. I'll, I might do that in just a second. But I'm just going to draw the outside of his eye. And I'm going to put some wrinkles here. See this? I'll put some wrinkles. Maybe some big, some small wrinkles for that eye. And then back here, this eye is just peeking out. See this eye? It's a little, little bit hidden back here. So all you see is that little bump. You don't see the eyeball. You just see a little bump right here. Isn't that cool? Now, if you want to put eyelashes, we'd go ahead and we can do that. I'll take it and I'll look at from the eye. I'm going to curve them up and away, up and away, up and away. I'll do a little little set, some long, some short, a little spider of eyelashes. And then over here, you would see a few sticking out back over there. See, this is smaller. This is larger and this is smaller that size. All right, looking cool. Now, let's use contour. I'm going to draw the shape of the toad's mouth. So I'm going to do an S-curve. I'm, I'm kind of following the drawing direction compass. You see this right here? Now watch this. I'm going to take this and we're going to go, I'm going to curve it up and I'm going to come down and just curve slightly up in direction northeast. So this is northwest and northeast. See, it's like a, a bottom of a corner of a box. I always think you can always, in your, we're using a lot of these drawing directions. Down here, just, just do something here real quick. Put two dots. I want to do a little side lesson just so you get your drawing direction down. Put your finger in the middle. Put a dot above and below your finger. What I want you to do is draw the four short and square. See, we're going to use this a lot. See, draw that. Connect the dots. Now, remember, if I go too fast, you just push pause, right? That's what's so cool about all these drawing lessons. The middle line's a little bit longer. Now watch this. Don't go straight across. Go uphill to the right. Uphill to the right. Go uphill to the left. There's your box. Now, the reason I did this is I want to draw a really quick reference. These are the two lines we're using a lot of right here. Direction northwest and direction northeast. Now, these are the two lines that we're, we're even going to use that. Watch this. I use this line, direction southwest, when I put the shadow. See this? Isn't that cool? And just to finish it up, now you know where direction southeast is. So we know this is direction southeast and this is direction southwest. These are You just drew your very own reference compass. A regular compass, a foreshortened compass, and then these are the pencils are positioned in these uh, drawing angles. These are the reference lines that most artists use. The mouth, the feet, the eyes, the knees. Most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, the artist will use these. Look at even when I was drawing a dinosaur. Rawr. These are future lessons. You can do these lessons on different YouTube drawing lessons if you want. You can subscribe to my channel, click playlist, and you'll see a hundred lessons. Look at you see this line here. This is direction south, east, uh, southeast. This is southwest. The eyes are lined up. Look at all these eyes. Look at this pencil power. Pencil power. Woohoo! See that pencil power? If the whole pencil's lined up in direction northeast. So these reference lines are very, very handy when you're drawing in 3D. All right, so let's uh, let's work more on our detail. Put another wrinkle here. Let's just get the 
the foot now. That Here, I'm going to break this into three toes. This toe is going to be a little bit bigger. I'm going to round it off. Okay, a little rounded toe there. There's one. And the second toe, a little smaller. Round it off. It's lined up. It's getting smaller. The third toe is rounded up here a little bit. And I think I'm going to give this toe some, <laughs> this toad, some cool toes. I'm going to put little toenails. Can you believe that? I'm going to put little, this is like uh, Shrek's toes. Some of my students from years past, they've worked on movies that you might recommend or might recognize. They they worked on movies like Despicable Me and BB-8. This is a drawing I did kind of saluting my students from years past. You might recognize some of these drawings. Um, some of my students worked on Frozen and the Snowman. And some of my the students worked on How to Train Your Dragon. And they be, want to become animators. I can't wait to see what you are going to be drawing with your genius imagination, your creativity. And uh, the guy, the fellows who, who created Shrek, a lot of those uh, ladies and gentlemen were my students and viewers back in the 1980s and 90s when I did a, a TV show. I don't know. Your parents might remember this show right here from my public television show, Commander Mark. Was I ever that young? Look at that. And then the next generation, 15 years later, I did another series called Imagination Station. Very cool. Your parents might re re recognize that. Now here, draw the belly here. That's the, not the belly. That's the chin, the burping chin. And some of my students are the guys who created uh, Shrek. That's the, that whole story. That was where that came from, the genesis of that idea, that thought. And Shrek, if you look at Shrek, any of the pictures of Shrek, or also the Hulk... A lot of my students work at DC Comics and Marvel Comics. And the if you look at the Hulk, he has perfect manicured toenails and fingernails. It's really funny. The Hulk is, you know, he needs to shave and his hair's all messed up. And, he's, and his toes and fingernails are all perfect and manicured. It's so funny. You guys, next time you look at the Hulk or next time you look at Shrek, look at his toenails. They're always like this. They're all nice. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Look at that. All right, looking cool. So you have a little peekaboo foot there. This is going to be really wonderful. And we're just adding the detail now. So I'm going to pull the the heel out of the foot and have put some wrinkles here. See, it kind of tapers back. And then you see on this one, this student right here made the, the leg overlapping. I'm going to do that. I'm going to have the near leg curving in here and put a couple of wrinkles right here. All right, so we have some wrinkles here. Now, the wrinkles will give your drawing shape and direction. See, this wrinkle is like a tube. See, there's a tube here. There's a tube here. You're thinking of tubes right here. See, there's a tube as it goes back. Now, we're doing the same thing. We're thinking of a tube right here. This comes down, tube, tube, tube. So we're going to put wrinkles going this way. Thinking of a bottom of a tube. The same with these toes. These toes are tubes, right? One toe, two toe, three toe. Think of tubes coming away from the leg. And so we'll, we'll just use that same idea. Well, I'm going to draw a big giant toe and then I'll curve the bottom and then I'll draw another big toe. This is almost like the tree frog. When you draw the tree frog, we draw these big round toes at the end here. And then I'm going to put the following, see the top of the tube? See that? That's where I'll put the, the, the toenail. See that? Isn't that a cool little technique? Think of tubes when you're drawing toe fingers and toes. And then I'm going, to, I'm going to put a little bump on top here. Put a little bump on the knee. And again, we're going to define the shape. See, here's some tubes, some wrinkles here. Then we'll put some shade here in just a second. Now back here, uh, let's draw the Draw the little lip, a little overlapping. See how that little lip sticks out right there? We're going to put some shading, make it really cool. And then this, let's put that bump, this smaller, this near bump here. This bump back here is a little bit smaller and further away. Isn't that great? Oh, this is so great. I love it, love it, love it. You guys, you are... You are total geniuses. You guys, ah, you have all these brilliant ideas. Bing! All these ideas. And, wait, I have a genius one right here. Here you go. You are total geniuses. You guys are so smart. Is that cool or totally creepy? You guys are so cool. You're geniuses. Geniuses. Geniuses! This is your mom. Geniuses. You're genius. You guys are so smart. Look how fast you pick up this drawing, the, the toad. 
All right, so we're going to put shading, and then we're going to put some pattern on it. I think I'll put the little contour line up here, just a little, a little bit of a contour line, maybe a double one. Um, do we want to put shading first, or do we want to put the pattern? Let's put the pattern. I think now we're going to put spots. I'm going to put a grouping. The word. This is one of those Renaissance words. There's 22 art words of drawing. Grouping, stripes, balance, uh, symmetry. You can learn these as you go, and you can pick that chart. I'll just put a few dots here, a little group, a little group of spots here. And I'll put like some little spots, little three or four little groups here. Maybe I'll put some smaller ones down here, a little group over here. See, we're going to group them together. If ever you see uh, uh, paintings or uh, uh, drawings of uh, like outdoors, a little grouping of trees or a little grouping of uh, people around a building, a little grouping of pattern, okay? I'm going to put a few little spots up here. And then I'll think over here, I'm going to put some more spots. So here's just some detail. This is detail. We're adding spots. We're adding grouping. It's one of those great words. If you want to get the chart of the 22 art words of drawing, you go to markkissler.com. Go to my website. Okay, it's in the description here of this YouTube. And you can print up that chart. Now, if you want to draw with me more, I go live every Monday. And so if you want to draw with me live... Uh, you go to the online lessons, and you can sign up for my Mighty Art Mondays with Mr. Mark. All right? And the way you do that is you go to my website. Here's my website, markkistler.com. Click online lessons, and then click uh, sign up for Mighty Art Mondays. We've got a great special going. I would love to have you as my markkistler.com. And then click online lessons, and then go to Mighty Art Mondays. Woohoo! All right. We'd love to have you students. We have a couple hundred students. We draw every Monday live for a full hour. It's really cool. Now, the sun's coming up down here, and so we're going to shade. Now, some of my, uh, some of you viewers, we're going to shade opposite. I'm going to keep the sun coming from this direction here. Sun's top right coming down, so I'm going to shade inside here. Sun's up here, so I'm going to shade down here. And I, you know what? I think I'll put a few more dots as I'm shading, I'm realizing I probably should put a few more little spots. Put a few there. Got some there. Maybe another one here. And maybe just a few more uh, right there on in between his nose. All right, so let's shade this. I'm going to put some shading, some scribble shading under his mouth. Okay, looking cool. And I'm going to put, see what I'm doing? I'm scribble. I'm going to blend it in just a second. I'm just using a scribble value with my pencil. Sun's to the right, and my you can put your light source anywhere. You can put your light source here. You can put your light source here. Wherever your light source is, you shade opposite, okay? Now, for those of you who can't draw with me live on Mondays, of course, after you go through all 100 of my drawing lessons here on YouTube and you want to draw more with me, go to my uh, draw3d.com site. Check that out. It's so cool. We have 300, 300 lessons on that one, and that's a fun uh, uh, membership also. Okay, here's shade here. If you send me an email, I'm offering a 50% uh, off. It's basically if you sign up for a year, I give you two years access. So it's a wonderful drawing. And me, being a professional working artist, I and my kids <laughs> appreciate your support. Now, I'm a working artist, and so when you guys sign up for my art classes or you buy my art commissions, I, look, I'm putting a shadow. I'm lining the shadow up in the same direction. If you buy my art commissions or take my art classes, it's just, I appreciate it as an artist. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We artists love people appreciating our artwork and spending your hard-earned money to support us. I appreciate, appreciate it. Now, down over here, sun's up here, put a shadow following the shadow. Now, I go to... Uh, I go to about 25 comic conventions around the world every year. I'm, you be sure to keep an eye on your city's comic convention schedule, and I'll probably be there. Subscribe to my uh, Facebook channel, and I and I uh, will I share on Facebook exactly where I'm going to be when I'm going to be there. Put the shadow. So if you want to come draw with me at a comic convention live, that would be fun. Now the way now I. Friend families on Facebook. Okay, here she was said. I'm shading under the eye here. 
Wait till we get the stompy. The stompy. I'm going to just go around the eye. See this right here? I'm going to leave the eye white for contrast. I'm going to put a little tone around the outside of the eye. Isn't that cool? All right. So I'm just using scribble shading right now. I'm going to get the nooks and crannies. This is the fun part. Enjoy this. Have fun on this one, okay? Have fun. Enjoy it. This is the relaxing part. I love this. This is why it's hard for me to keep a drawing lesson to 15 minutes. I just go crazy with the details. I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it. All right. So, uh, if, uh, as far as Facebook is concerned, please have your parents uh, uh, friend me. If you kids, if, if kids friend me, I don't friend you uh, kids, you students. I ignore you. I'm not being mean. I'm being a dad. You kids don't belong on Facebook. This is for your parents. If your parents want to friend me, uh, look for the three birds. And there's a picture of me down here. This picture down here changes. The background is always going to be the three birds. And I'm going to even write this down. Have your families. I want your families to friend me so I can keep keep you informed of I don't even, I don't know where my pen is so I'll just say just remember the three birds friend me on Facebook have your parents do it no kids all right so now it's time for the stompy let's take the stompy and I'm going to blend this a little bit the more the more well used these are the better they are with the residual I love using that that extra pencil lens see that and that fun and I have another artist here with me today we have uh, Art with Albright, the amazing, wonderful art teacher. Uh, we have Emily Albright. Emily, what do you think of the the, oh the God, Tony? So awesome. <laughs> you, yeah, we are having a day of creating drawing lessons. We 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 get together and we create more drawing lessons. She has her channel, Art with Albright, and I have my channel, which is. Uh, Mark Kistler, YouTube slash Mark Kistler. Uh, draw with me. I want you member. I want you guys to subscribe so you can take a 30-day, 30 drawings challenge. Do one drawing a day. Do one drawing with me. Do one drawing with with Emily Albright with her channel. There's a whole. As long as you're doing one drawing a day, check out different artists on uh, YouTube. There's many, many of us out there. Pick your favorite and draw every day. Okay. Let's blend it. Now, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to add a little more detail. I want to darken in these spots. This is creating contrast. All right. Hey, Emily, was I clear when I talked about Facebook how I want the moms and dads to, to friend me, not the kids? Very did that did that, very, did that did that did that make sense? Okay. I just I want you kids to be safe. All right. Now, I have a, a lot of adults who are watching these YouTube channels going, hey, what are you talking about? Well, you adults, of course. If you... You're an adult, of course. I would love to friend you. Come on and check it out, so you keep track of my uh, elementary school assembly appearances, my Comic Con appearances, and also when I'm going to be posting uh, new lessons. I always send out a Facebook notice when I post a new lesson. Here, let's put. See what I'm doing? I love it. I love our little our little shadow. I just can't stop, you guys. I'm having so much fun getting the detail. Look at this just is screaming for a little more dark. See what happens when you just just get in there and get all the dark nook and cranny. Isn't that fun? Do you love it? I love it, love it, love it, love it. All right, we, I can go on and on and on, but I'm, I'm actually going to stop, I think. I can't. I should stop. Emily, I can't stop. Do you ever have this? Do you ever... You start you're going and just a little shadow underneath there. Look, I, these stompies are wonderful. Get a, get a, a set of them. Those toenails are perfect. Aren't they funny? <laughs> it's a, it's a very well groomed. Oh, now now technically you now you know you you viewers look at this. Technically this this knee is too big. This one is closer. It should be larger. This lead knee should be a little smaller. But it's it, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. I'm gonna cheat cheat the illusion a little bit. All right. So remember, if you want to draw more with me, uh, subscribe to YouTube. Check out my books, Drawing in 3D. Uh, here's my other book, and this is my bestseller. You can draw in 30 days. I think you'll enjoy it. Get those from your local bookstore or online. Keep drawing every day, you guys. Draw, 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 and I'll see you next time. Dropping your pencil, grab some paper, get ready, it's almost time. Mark will show you how to get on the paper, what's in your mind. A rocket ship, a pair of shoes, a shooting star, and some kangaroos.
Have you enjoyed drawing today? Want to continue the fun? Head over to draw3d.com and join now.